would help if I turned the mic on. <laughs> hey everybody and welcome, my name is Sikodin, and we are going to be playing a game called Frog Fractions. It's a revolutionary way to teach your child about fractions. Uh, don't ask me why I'm playing this, okay I'll tell you why. A friend of mine actually suggested to uh, to play this game, and it's been a while since I've recorded in general. Mr. Uh, webcam, your eyeballs are falling off. Uh, <laughs> don't you worry about that. Okay, uh, so let's, let's start playing this game. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, apparently they removed uh, I guess you're stuck with the uh, comments down there. Uh, what what am I? Oh oh wait wait there's there's what the hell? All right so um do I move? Can I move? Oops oh broke it. Nope we're okay. All right so I'm grabbing. Let's see cricket is eight seven so that's like one and one seventh. One and a third. I'm a little confused. I'm gonna okay my score is doing weird stuff up there. <laughs> Um, am I supposed to? I, I guess? Okay, there's upgrades. Okay. Okay. Uh, lock on targeting. This eyeball installed auto targeting HUD helps you make a glowy red list of bugs you hate. Oh, okay. So that costs two fruit. Okay, I got fruit up top. I have five fruit. Why didn't I get more fruit? Now I'm pretty upset because now I. Okay. What, what's going on here? Presidential swimming pool. Oh, awesome. Meteorology satellites, bug drugs. Bug. What? What am I witnessing here? Okay, here's a turtle. Upgrade your lily pad to a turtle friend. You can ride him over to grab fruit off the side. Who put that fruit there anyway? All right, so we'll get the turtle then. Cool. So I can catch the fruit now. Um, I guess I. What the hell? Fractions. Fractions. My worst enemy. Okay, so I'm. I'm trying to grab the fruit as they go. Okay, so they... No! No! What the hell? Why are you turning? It wasn't time for you to turn. Uh, the, the, the bugs. The, the bugs. The, the bugs. No, the bugs. Okay, cool. So you do get like... I only got five more again. What the hell is... Ta cybernetic brain. What are Zorkmids? What the hell are Zorkmids? Anything your regular old frog brain can do, this newfangled cybernetic frog brain can do better. We'll get the... the frog brain? Oh, apparently... wait. What the hell? Uh, guys. Look at all these apples! <laughs> like a billion! Um, something is going wrong. Something is... going... wrong. <laughs> something is just... Something, something is going wrong. <laughs> Something is going terribly wrong. What the hell is the point of eating the freaking? What the hell is 5.11 eaten? My goodness, my goodness. I don't even need those anymore. Like, I have like a billion fruit. No, stop eating my fruit, you bad bugs. Like, it really matters. I have like a billion. <laughs> like a billion. Um, 2.25, perfect. 8.33 to the negative one power. Even better. Um,. Uh, it does a score even matter? Like, did I get enough? Can I upgrade again? Because I don't, I don't understand. Uh, am I supposed to like grab so many? Okay, there it goes. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's get the. Uh, upgrade your fruit to Dorian's. They smell awful, so bugs will take longer to eat them. Uh, not that it really matters. Not that it really matters. Uh, I'll just... Whatever that was. I'm gonna try to see if there's other places to go, because... Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, kids, this is how you learn fractions. Um, you just eat the bugs, and you see those numbers, they represent certain special things, like... Uh, uh, oops. Like, what, what life is about, and... You know, you'll, you'll use these numbers every single day of your life. So it's that's no big deal. Um, yeah, is that really it? Like, like really? Is that? I keep looking out of the screen. Um, I don't even. I don't even know. I I don't know. I don't. Are you guys learning anything out of this other than shit? I mean, chat. Don't worry, kids. This is all PG-13. What the hell am I looking? There's a dragon here. Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend. He will love his new dragon shape, I swear. That shell is just holding him back. Uh, uninstall the lock on targeting. The chicks don't dig on cyborgs, and it makes licking bugs less fun anyway. Get the surgeon to uninstall it. Why would I want to uninstall it? Well, anyways, let's do the dragon! 
Um, well, this guy... Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 back off. Back off, back, back off. What's, what the hell's he getting dignity bar for, anyways? Um, hey, presents! There are, there are presents falling from the sky. Um, can I, can I have a present? Can I, can I get a present? Uh, hey, oh, my dragon's way too slow. Is there a way to make him faster? <laughs> What is this? A uh, warp drive. Install warp drive on your flying dragon that will really take you places. I'm not sure if I want to get that yet. Um, you know what? Hell with it. What, what, what do we have to lose? Alright. Oh god. I'm supposed to be moving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them push you around. <laughs> I'm just a talking hamburger. Nothing weird about that. I honestly have lost track of... Whoops. What fraction we're supposed to be at? Uh, apparently we're... This isn't going well. You let the asteroids push you around. We said not to do that. Um, sure. Sure, guys, because I am... I am paying attention to the asteroids pushing me around. There's Bug Mars now, their home planet. They're going to regret messing with us. And that's a dog. That is not a hamburger. Uh, do a do a barrel roll. How am I supposed to do a barrel roll? I'm on a dragon. I think this has already gone too far. This has gone too far. I'm out. I'm out. I, I, I don't know where we're going anymore. I, I thought this was a simple buggy learn some fractions game. What the hell has happened? Um, I, I gotta stop clicking out of the screen, but it's really hard because this is actually in a browser. Uh, hey, what was that thing that just fell? I honestly don't know because there's... Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. No ref refuge. Uh, B attitude for gains. What the hell? Oh, hello. I wonder if the big guy over here has any tips about dealing with fractions. I uh, here's a fraction. Don't get hit by his tentacle arm leg things, Mr. Alien. I believe I'm taking a fraction of damage thanks to you. Uh oh. Okay. You are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh my god! No, 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 no! He took me to. <laughs> Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent of purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Uh, amphibious, Your Honor. You've got the wrong dude. My name is Mr. Leap. Has anyone ever told you that you look delicious? And oh god, I'm surrounded by bugs. Oh god, I'm surrounded by bugs. <laughs> These charges carry a minimal sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How would you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Um, <laughs> get them off, get, uh, get them off, get the bugs off. How do you feel about bribes if you'll just reach into my front pocket? <laughs> you don't have a front pocket. I can see from here you aren't wearing pants. Here, all you need is a <laughs> pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Um, bugs? Crushing our enemies and our powerful mandibles? <laughs> Protecting my precious space fruit from your goddamn commie space bugs, your honor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bugs? A little bit on the nose, isn't it? You can blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Next question. On the series Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug, Sh Bug Snooky's favorite ice cream? Uh, trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars because of the climate. I That sounds about right, but I can feel them crawling around on my skin, too. Uh, well, I had to try, didn't I? Four score and twenty bugs ago, Bug and Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right. Um, the right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court. The right to own sentient space fruit as slaves. 
the right to parade around the courtroom in only your knickers. How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. And oh god, bugs everywhere. Um, uh, let's see, what what would bug Thomas Jefferson write? Um, the right to bugs. Yes. As the revered document says, the only right you'll ever need. During the War of Bug 1812, Gen General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? Alright guys, I think I'm getting bugged out with all these bug puns. Um, uh, 420, I swear they counted them twice, that's not just a pot joke. <laughs> a shameful moment in our history, he regretted it for the rest of his life. Uh, last question, Mr. Hop, how do you feel about fractions? Uh, they're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. I um, was told there'd be no math on this exam. I, I'm actually leaning slightly towards scientific notation these days, and I don't know, I've never really dealt with them. I like scientific notation. I think you're a huge Philistine and hope you die. But that is correct. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. Uh, we were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue a work visa. If you'll just sign here. Um, bugs! <laughs> bugs! Uh, everyone loves a novelty signature. Just ask Bug John Hancock. Alright, uh... We'll, we'll write my name down here, not the bug, because why not? And a bunch of scribbles. Okay, we're on uh, Wave Mars, so so what are we here for? Can we not... What's down here? Me and my dragon are having... So there is water on Mars. There's definitely... Well, there's water on Bug Mars. I don't think it's really Mars, but... What the hell is that? Nothing. Thankfully, I'm a frog, and apparently As my... conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end um. until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Okay. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. That's nice. That's, that's nice to know. Thank you. Thank you, uh, random narrator out of nowhere about boxing. Guess I really, really... Oh, look, a fish. Wanted to know about boxing. What happens if I touch the fish? Oh, it's gone. Uh, that fish was not supposed to be there, I guess. Alright, alright, dragon. Where are we going? Are we going to... Oh, puffer fish! Don't touch the puffer fish, I guess. Wait. Where'd he go? Alright, I took the right path. It was Felipe's son. Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in What was it? Punching, punching? Like... After seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. Aww. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop, to a match, Bishop was the odds on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck. It's a dead end! For the count in the parlance of our time. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta go listen to something else about boxing or Felipe or... or... Who, who's next? Who's gonna be next? Lucy Lou? Like, come on now. I don't even know who that was. Uh, what, what was he doing on Mars? Bug Mars. He's not even a... Uh, these aren't even bugs, they're all fish. They're not bug fish. That I know of, at least. Alright. Alright, I'm, I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. All I wanted to know was what was about fractions. I didn't want to know about bug mars and boxing. While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that oh, look, a cuttlefish. violated and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers. Oh, gee! The interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The oh. newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. That's that's nice. And the rest is history. After a few sports sports school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. That that's great, Enrique. That's that's awesome. Please keep reading me about boxing. I love the boxing. 
I am now one with boxing. I can know everything about the boxing. Uh, and what they had for their breakfast, lunch, and dinner wise is getting more narrow. I'm not liking that very much. What if I lose my dragon? Is this a dead end or is this some secret area I don't know about? Because I honestly don't trust anything in this game anymore. Um, how is this a child's game? I've certainly lost the idea of the fractions. I'm learning about boxing. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. You know, I, I think I should have stayed up on the surface and seen if there were any other, like, actual helpful upgrades here, because I have a feeling that I could be going faster or possibly destroying all these little silhouettes of things everywhere. I, I don't know, but it's just, it's just a thunk. Maybe I wouldn't have to listen to the boxing rambling all this time. I don't know what you guys think, I mean, but some of you must be really intrigued about boxing right now, because that's all this, this all this down here is boxing. Like, there's nothing about fractions. I've given up on the fractions idea, I guess. I I, I thought I was going to get educated on fractions, but <laughs> I, I guess I'm wrong. It's very, very serene, relaxing music, though. Alright, uh, so there's a cybernetic mermaid thing. Hi, buddy. How's it going? I'm, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm just a frog on a dragon inside Bug Space Mars in an ocean apparently filled with cybernetic mermaids and submarines, apparently. Apparently there's a civilization... The real that's... wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week, and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match, and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Well, that worked out perfect. Yay! I found a rocket ship. Does that take me back? Is it... Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hall. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. What next? Uh, climb? Uh, I only understood as far as climb. Uh, climb up? Uh, well, I don't understand what you want to climb up. Climb up ladder. Captain Quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Uh, let's actually, let's pick up the rug. Pick up rug. Uh, moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Why two-fifths of a point? That means I need three-fifths more to go up higher. Uh, all right. All right, uh, we let's open hatch, open recessed hatch. Uh, you have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Um, go into hatch. Uh, nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. What the hell am I doing? What is going on? Alright, so we need to fix, maybe clean up the sticky pink goop, or maybe fix the machine? 
um, or fix the fix the nest of wires. Fix nest of wires because oops. Uh, fix nest of wires. Uh, I don't I don't know how you want to fix that. Okay. Um, wires. Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Um, pick up coffee can. Uh, you twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off and an adjacent wire in the process, and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut. You glance down at what you've taken, huh? It really is a coffee can. Uh, what's next? Um... Um, all right, so that's on the fritz. That's a problem. That's a problem. I wonder what, like, that gray machine is what I want to know what's going on. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat pat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Read handwritten sheet. Uh, this is the out-of-order note included in your game package. What, wait, what do you mean this is the out of order note included in your game? What game package? What is this gray machine doing something weird? Did they do anything with the glowing display, no? Nothing, nothing? A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked in an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled Route Details and New Destination. Um... Push new destination. Uh, I only understood as far as push new. Oh, sorry. I misspelled. P push new destination. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtruse that before you even consciously process what what's happening, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. I just, I just wanted to go to... All right, route. How about route details? What? What's like? We're we're so close. We're so close. Um, the screen spills forth a slew of steps such as spiral, spin word, and spath eye system far faster than you can fathom. Um, that sounds really dangerous, actually. <laughs> There's a spigot. Why is there a spigot? There's a, just a spigot hanging there. Um, um, I have a can. You place a can below the spigot. Yay! So we can collect something. Uh, that gray goo. Well, what can I use the gray goo for? The gray goo was used for... Something. Maybe the gray goo is used in that sleeping pod. Um, 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 um. There are two, there's a lever, and there's some buttons. Uh, it's easier to pull a lever than to try to figure out which button to push, I guess. So let's pull a lever! Uh, dispensing mom's specialty, the machine says. A thick stream of pink goop streams out. It mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected, different voice says. A whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. <laughs> Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Okay, cool. Um, uh, buttons? What about the buttons? Uh, push button? Push button. The raise button clicks into place, and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. Um, what were those things that we were collecting? They weren't apples. The other thing, Zor... 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 Zorkmids? Zorkmids? Um, Zork... Zorkmids? What do you mean you don't understand? Uh, Zorkmids, is it Zorkmid? Is it Zorkmid? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. A voice says, a thick stream of Zorkmids shoot out of the faucet, bounce off of the flat platform. What the hell? 
All right, 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 all right. We got some Zork mids. Now uh, you spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Yay! Not that I know what the hell is going on here, but let's let's get out of here. Um. Um. A sleeping. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go to the sleeping pod. Uh, wait. What do I do? I even have. You're holding the out of order note, the can of pink goop, and zork mids. And then there is that that thing where there's no um it's empty. Uh yeah. Negage reading empty. Um uh, what can we use? Is it the can? If we use the can. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby gouge feeds up, and our score goes up nine halves of a point. Nine halves of a point. That's like four and a half points. Holy sh! That's way more than what we've been getting all this time. Um, um, uh, what open? You open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. Apparently, there was a drawer here. Apparently. Apparently. All right, let's read it. Man Manuel. Manuel. It's a manual for the navigation computer and a command module. After leafing through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. Because frogs can do all this. Frogs can do all this. Alright. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Um. 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 We're back at the command hall. Uh, let's do that button thing again. Uh, you definitely, you definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel G-forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh? Uh, you run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through Bug Customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Yay! Um, let's go back and let's, can we sleep now? Thank God. You lie down in the sleeping pods, close the lid, and drift off. Secure that in 57 and something years, you'll return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. Uh, when you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You, you blearily glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly, you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps, and you realize that you've been transmogrified into a human form. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you, can't do, you can't do anything as a human. This isn't even... Watch out, man, they're eating your fruit. Like... You awake with a start. What a horrible dream. <laughs> you call your friend Draggy, the flying dragon, just to talk to someone. Yo, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. Uh, I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much out of the following. Draggy ponders. Maybe if you, if we uh, drummed up a little publicity for first. I know just a PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. <laughs> uh, we're still on Bug Mars. To allegate that you are not a natural-born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog. Oh my god. Um... I don't know what the hell is going on here, but we're, um... Sorry, guys. I'm so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this at all. Uh, my fingers aren't even... I, I, it... I'm, like, missing the entire set here. Oh my god, no 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 no
Why are we doing this? I hope this song isn't copyrighted in any way. I hope this game isn't copyrighted in any way. <laughs> well, alright. I'll go with it. Uh, okay, it's on. The fuck? Oh man, you smoked him. You're a shoe in for president. I. Uh, Please tell me this is still a dream. <laughs> Flaps McQueen. Uh. No. Uh. I don't. I don't. Numerators and denominators. Because we learned. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Uh, let's see. We have two million Zork mids. Cost to produce bug porn is ten thousand Zork mids. Megabytes. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? The hell is going on? Let's see. We it takes ten thousand Zork mids a megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you want to make? We have two million Zork mids. Um, it takes ten thousand a megabyte. So two million Zork mids. Divided by 10,000, let's see, it's four zeros, so let's cut off four zeros, that's 200. We can make 200 megabytes worth of porn. Uh, don't worry, this interface is temporary, bug software engineers. How many pop-up banner ads do you want to purchase? Uh, none. None. What price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? Um... Uh, well, we have to make more, so if we're doing 10,000 a pop, let's do 20,000. Whoops. 20,000. Uh, uh, the bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. The bug porn sensors bought all your bug porn uh, at lunchtime. <laughs> Uh, you made 200 megabytes of bug porn at 10,000 a megabyte. You sold 200 of it at 20,000 a megabyte. Budget 2 million. We made 4 million. Our profit is 2 million. How many Zork mids do um, do you want to order the bug Federal Reserve to print? Um, 2 million of them? Uh, two zero zero zero. How many zeros is that? That's way too many zeros. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. Uh, what do you want to upgrade? Uh, what do I want to upgrade? Let's get um. Um, let's see. We have six million Zork mids now. Uh, staying home and watching bug porn, or I can get the satellites. I don't care about the weather forecast. Not that I can think of though. I do want a swimming pool. Um, adding padlocks to bug porn storage warehouse could cut down on shrinkage. Uh, let's do bug drugs. Oh no, thunderstorms, why, what's going on? Are we done yet? No. Uh, cost to produce bug porn, still 10,000. How many megabytes of bug porn do you want to make? That way. It's not you, it's my inability to distinguish you from prey. I'm just pushing numbers. Uh, you made 10,000 megs. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, we're, we're slightly, we made some this time around. But I'm still in, like, the negatives. Yep. That's all. Oh, look, it's the swimming pool. Yeah, sure. Yep, soon as I'm done swimming in my... My pool. No, oh, I guess we're done. I guess I'm done. I guess we're done. I guess I had enough of this. I think my brain sizzled. I don't think I can... I can't even think straight. I don't even know how to end this. I don't even know how to feel about this.
Are you guys supposed to feel like this? Like, is this, this is such an empty feeling. <laughs> my god. I just lost my entire day thinking about fractions. I think. I think I had something about fractions. Did you guys see anything about fractions after that? Because I- Oh my god! No! Don't look, kids! Don't you dare look! Um... Um, nope! Nope, don't look at that! Nope! That's- No! <laughs> uh, that's uncomfortable. We're- We're- We're uncomfortable together. That's fine. That's nothing wrong with that. There, you guys, don't worry about that. That was nothing. There won't be any more of it. Definitely no more of that, because... This is a PG game. It's all about fractions for the children. Oh, that's all. No biggie. That's that's that's, that's not. That's that's not gonna. That's oh my. Oh my goodness. That's. Oh my goodness. No. 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 That's that's. I I didn't see. I didn't witness that today. Not once. Not once. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you, Clip Artists. Thank you so much. Oh god, here comes another one. Here, oh, it's bleeped out already. We are oh, great. They're dung beetles. Maybe there's maybe no, nope, they're dung beetles. I think they're dung. They're beetles of some sort. They're kind of like that's that's nice. Oh, come on, the ladybugs, though. The ladybugs. Is that really necessary right now? I'll never think of ladybugs the same way again. Oh, goody. I can't wait for the next one. I bet you guys can't wait for it. Oh, god. Oh, wait. What the hell am I? What? What? Wait! That's not even in the right place! What am I even... Oh, uh, that's not even right. You know what though, this was... Ugh. Oh. oh, really? Wait. What the hell? Is it even bleeping? I can't even see anything. Oh well. Uh, I guess, I guess it's fine. Whatever. Oh no. There's still more. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, it's that's nice. You you pollinate that flower. That bee is deep flowering that flower. Because uh, beard number two, I guess somebody lost a bet somewhere in here. That's great. That's that's great. We we had fun. We had lots of fun. It it was great. You got you guys you guys learned a lot, right? We we learned a lot about fractions. And um mostly fractions. I think we I think we learned about fractions. Yeah. Fractions.